Satan has set up a false flag operation in the very church of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we have seen, Satan plants his secret agents in congregations and pulpits and even at the top of denominations. 2 Corinthians 11, 13-15 says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. First thing we need to establish is that Satan operates a counter-kingdom, and he does so flying the flag of God's church. We talked about this last time. We talked about how in, there are entire denominations who claim the name of Christ and aren't Christian. And even among our otherwise evangelical churches, we find essentially sometimes the same thing. Jesus alluded to Satan's kingdom in Matthew 12, 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then, how shall then his kingdom stand? Jesus made a reference to the fact that Satan has a kingdom. Satan's kingdom is not of basically the same it's not of the same material substance as the kingdom of God. It's of the earth and not of the spirit realm, which you might think is surprising, but it is the earth and I'm going to show that where the devil has any kind of power. Matthew 4, 8 says, Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him. Now remember, he's talking to the Messiah, to Jesus, the Christ, the God-man. Listen to this. He says this. All these things, Satan, again, talking to Jesus. All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Satan used earthly power to tempt the very Messiah. Well, the scriptures tell us that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. But you see, here's the thing. When Adam sinned, okay, Adam was given the dominion covenant. And yet Adam, having dominion, bowed the knee to the devil when he ate of the fruit. Now some are going to disagree with this, but I believe it's like this. The Lord owns the earth. He has the ownership. But in many ways, Satan has kind of like a power of attorney. Notice, Jesus does not say to the devil, Hey, that's not yours to offer. See, Satan had a legal right to it. Because I believe essentially that Adam handed the dominion covenant over to the devil at that point in time when he sinned. It is of the sin stained creation that the devil has his power in his kingdom, not any kind of spiritual way. Even though we, we, we wrestle against uh, the, the principal principalities and powers, we wrestle against them, but their power is of this earth, of the sin stained creation. In Genesis 1, 27-28, God gave the dominion covenant. <clears throat> Quote, So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. God gave the dominion covenant to Adam and his wife. Then they bowed the knee in Genesis 3 to Lucifer, to the serpent, to the devil, and essentially handed him the dominion covenant when they ate the fruit. 